Josie. Who did it? Who was it, honey? Henny. Henny. No more questions for now. Sam, we'd like to keep her here for a day or so, just to make sure no complications develop. I warned her against him. I said, Josie, Ned Gaines is trash. Stay away from him. She never mentioned anyone named Ned. She said Henny. But she likes Henny. Oh, she's delirious. She was asking for him. I know my own daughter. I know who she's afraid of. It was Ned, wasn't it, honey? Annie. Josie, tell the truth. I don't blame Ned. I don't want to say this about my own daughter, but she lies. She lies constantly. She lies even when it doesn't matter. Isn't that right, Dan? She's a pathological liar, Simon. She's delirious. Lies don't usually come from delirium. Could she be faking? Well, I can't rule anyone out. All right, Henny. Let's take Endymion. Endymion, written by John Keats, first published in April 1818. Good. Now, begin, please. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. It never will pass Is it important, Dad? But I still so, will keep questions. the bowers quiet for us. Miss Williams needs Asleep. all the time she has Dreams. to work with Henny now, Dan. Yeah. One of the scholars will be there. Next Tuesday. Dan? Is Josie all right? Miss Williams, do you mind? Do you have a minute? What's about Josie? She's blaming you. I know. I was going to go and see her and ask her why. But I thought I should wait till she's feeling better. Did you do it, honey? No. Where were you last night? Where I've been all this month, at home studying. I go to school and I come home and I pray on my friends. You know most of her other friends. Have you any idea who might have done it? None of her friends would. Sam Macklin says that Ned has reasons. What reasons? You and Josie. Dan. Her father had plans for Josie and I. The chemistry just wasn't there. We're friends, only friends. And Ned knows that. Does he? Besides, Ned isn't like that. Last year, Ned did a couple of months for assault. Somebody made a remark he didn't like. Well, what does that mean? It means he is like that. You always know when it's time to eat. You know enough to bring salt? Ned, get out of here. It's okay, man. Here's my permit. Dan is looking for you. So why should today be different from any other day? You know why. Do I? She's in bad shape, Ned. You did a terrible thing. Penny, what are you talking about? Josie's at Andrews. She's been beaten up. Ned! Don't go into town. They'll arrest you. Look at me, friend. You are my friend, aren't you? You got a brain genius? Would I touch her? If she's okay, why can't I take her home now? She's had a bad shock, Sam. Why don't you leave her here for at least another day? Yeah, look at this chart. Plenty of symptoms, but no etiology. It's over. Just tell me. I won't do anything. It was Henny. Josie, this town thinks we're garbage. You're rich garbage. I'm poor garbage. Don't let him come off right. 
with our friend, yours and mine, Henny Thompson. Josie, I know why you're saying that. You're trying to protect some louse who isn't worth it. Let's do this thing right. Just tell them who did it. Yet I'm telling the truth. It was Henny. Listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> Josie, calm down. No, please don't arrest him. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Josie. 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 Dude, I don't want them to hurt you. They can't hurt me. I made a steal, remember? I don't care who did it. I'm not a police officer. But this girl is near a breakdown, and that is my concern. And we have to get this thing out in the open so she can start to forget about it. What do you know? She was there. Why don't you ask her? Josie, I don't want to prosecute anyone. I'm only concerned about your getting well. The person who did it is downstairs right now wringing his phony hand. Ned, shut up! Crying about God and what's right. Her blood's probably on his fist right now. Her very correct and proper living father. No, no! Don't believe him! severe weather threatens that's when experience counts trust the channel 7 weather team combining the most current technology with decades of experience tracking arkansas storms channel 7 weather the team with the most experience i'm mark rose with katv i'm melinda fobble from at&t and i'm rick fleetwood with snell prosthetics and orthotics we all support the better business bureau's mission to encourage ethical business practices that create trust Join us as we honor Arkansas companies that demonstrate high standards. The Torch Awards, Thursday, April 23rd at the Governor's Mansion. Call or email now for tickets or sponsorship opportunities. Along with the BBB, let's recognize those who do things the right way. foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. The last in this series of storms expected for Friday. I'll have your first look in the morning. And today we talk basketball camps. Tomorrow we're talking football camps with Super Bowl champion Clinton McDonald. Plus, we'll tell you about the community-wide sunrise service for Easter. All of that and much more on Daybreak tomorrow. Andrew, I won't honor that lie by repeating it. The individual in question has obviously threatened my daughter. You saw her mental state. This questionable individual never hit a girl in his life. But this lousy him singing banker did plenty of times. Ask him. Ask him. Stop it. This backbiting is embarrassing. I don't know how Dr. Locke feels about this, but the two of you are beginning to turn my stomach. We have a very sick young lady upstairs. That should be our first concern. Well, I have slapped Josie occasionally, but never hard, never with bitterness or anger. Frustration, yes, but always for what I felt was her own good, an attempt to make her see the waste of telling lies, the mistake of seeing this trash. What did I do to you? And who are you to judge me, you lousy fake? The community judges you and the Lord judges you. Ever since the day that Andrew brought you into this world, it's all over now. But you'll never get away with the cruelty you've displayed towards my daughter. She's lying to protect you. 
Tell them. Tell them. You're lying. All right, Ned. All right. Ned, for once in your life, do something the right way. Dan Palmer is looking for you. Why don't you find him? You got a great sense of humor, Doc. He won't have to decide now, Andrew. Normal. Well, Josie, you're coming along just fine. That's the way it is with liars. You haven't touched your food. I'm doing it this way because I haven't the courage to kill myself faster. Josie, if you won't take nourishment, you won't get your strength back. You have to stay here with me forever. They put Ned in jail. Anything I touch, anything comes near me, I poison. Give people a chance, Josie. You mean tell the truth? Oh. Nobody will believe me no matter what I say. Every time we go upstairs to take a temperature, you come down with a longer face. She's not responding to treatment. Well, give it time, Simon. Give it time. She's upset because she insists Ned Gaines didn't do it. And no one will believe her. Will time cure that? Why don't you let Dan Palmer worry about that? Oh, hello, Annie. Annie, this is Dr. Simon Locke. Doctor, this is Annie Thompson. Hello, Annie. How's Josie? Coming along fine, just fine. May I see her? Well, she hasn't exactly given you uh, an open invitation. I've just come from the jail. It isn't right for Ned to be there. I thought maybe if I talked to Josie. I asked Dr. Locke. She's his patient. All right, Emmy. She's upstairs. I don't care who beat her up. I care about her physical condition, which is deteriorating because of what happened and her part in it. Well, whatever happened, these kids make their own kind of hell. They create problems for themselves wherever they go. Two of the kids you've delivered, and they've let you down. Well, where's to say I have to like every kid I bring into this world? You're not giving up on Ned and Josie, are you? <sighs> Doctor, I get the feeling that you and I have just switched attitudes. Are you now concerned with a whole human being? Josie. Josie. What he found? I don't think so. Uh, what's wrong? What are you? Oh, hello, Josie. How are you? Oh. Oh. Oh, it hurts. Where does it hurt? When just the thought of travel holds you back, choose One A Day Bonine to protect against the nausea and dizziness of motion sickness. Bonine Special Formula treats and prevents the symptoms of motion sickness, but with less drowsiness than Dramamine. In fact, Bonine is the brand recommended most by pharmacists for motion sickness. Now you can enjoy yourself during the trip and when you arrive. Bonine Chewable Tablets. Same relief as Dramamine. Less drowsy. The bladder control aisle. You won't shop here again. Your private business is your own. The constant struggle is over. Now there's a better way. It's HDIS. We home deliver bladder control products. We understand how you feel. For over 25 years, we've home delivered to many of the 20 million Americans who deal with incontinence. We offer all brands. We pay shipping and use plain, unmarked boxes. 
If we can help you or someone you care for, call for your free product sample pack and $45 in money-saving coupons. Our counselors will help you choose the right product. And unlike stores, we're always in stock. You'll get what you need. Satisfaction guaranteed. HDIS, the better way. For your free sample pack with your free catalog, $45 in money-saving coupons, and free product samples, call 1-800-292-6580. That's 1-800-292-6580. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Health reform has added significant new benefits to Medicare plans. If you have Medicare Part A, Part B, Part D, or any Medicare Advantage plan, you now get benefits with no copays, no deductibles, and can get dental, vision, and prescription coverage included. Call the Medicare Health Reform Helpline now to make sure you have all the benefits you're entitled to. Call the Medicare Health Reform Helpline now to update your plan. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Buckwald. The cost of health insurance and the denial of coverage because of pre-existing conditions has been a serious problem in America. But now the law has changed. Health care reform is now available. So many people do not take advantage of the benefits offered to them by health care reform because they don't call. Call now. The Medicare Health Reform Helpline is now accepting calls. Don't miss the deadline. Call the Medicare Health Reform Helpline. Call 800-849-6819. That's 800-849-6819. 800-849-6819. Think carefully, Sarah. Has he ever blacked out at any time? Blacked out? I don't think so. He has had some headaches, but we thought they began after he started studying for the scholarship. Has he ever forgotten where he was? Had lapses of memory, misplaced time. I don't know. What is it? Sarah Henny may have what we call intracranial hemangioma. That means abnormal circulation of the brain. It creates a number of reactions. Has he ever shown any irrational behavior? Oh, well, now you know Henny Andrew. He's never acted strangely at any time. Mrs. Thompson, a young lady has accused him of violence. He told you he had nothing to do with that. He may not have known what he was doing. Intracranial hemangioma is like an iceberg, Mrs. Thompson. The red mark on his forehead is only the surface indication. The mass of it may be on the inside on the temporal lobe, causing trouble in the brain. Sarah, he needs expert evaluation and diagnosis, and he needs it now. Thanks. He couldn't help himself. When the pressure builds, he suffers amnesia. Yeah. You know those terrible things people say I do? I don't ever remember doing them. Ned, I want you to help us find him. Forget it. He's sick. If we don't find him and he suffers an attack, he may die. I'll pray for your successful search for Henny Thompson. Ned. He ran into the hills. The two of you spent a lot of time up there. Just make sure you find him first. Well, good news is still the best medicine. I told you Ned didn't do it. We don't know for sure. Sam, let it go. You were wrong. We were both wrong. The point is, I don't think we were wrong. 
Sam, you're not only stubborn and narrow-minded, you're also thick. You are a first-class jackass. It is not ungodly to make a mistake. All right. One time. One time he may not be guilty, but what about the others? Oh, we should have helped him then. Well, who is he to receive special treatment? A boy with a problem, like Henny Thompson, who we are helping. to get him under treatment right away. Anything you want when I get finished with him. He's sick. Help me. He's gonna be real sick in a minute when I get finished with him. Henny, you're not gonna get away with this! He couldn't help what he did. You hit him, you'll kill him. Swell! You said you were treated like trash. Well, maybe that's all you deserve. <laughs> still and help him at the same time. So I noticed. Great performance, Henny. Real great. He's out of his mind with pain. He was like this when he hit Josie. Don't turn away. It's an act, isn't it? Look at your friend perform, Ned. It's a cop-out, I swear. Suppose it is. You'll find that out later. Can you take that chance? Look, maybe there's a tumor in my head. Maybe, maybe there's something wrong with me inside. Maybe I couldn't help what I was doing. What are you doing? I have to give him something for the pain. I can't hold him down forever, and I can't do it alone. Maybe you are sick, Ned. If revenge is what you need to make you well, go ahead. I'm an idiot. I, if I help him, I'm crazy. What do I do? Hold on. 
Hold him still. Don't let him move at all. Sarah, the treatment relieved him temporarily. That'll give us time to get him to a hospital. Well, thank you, Andrew. And thank you, Dr. Locke. Thank Ned, Sarah. Ned? Don't go. Why, was I ever here? She doesn't even want to know I helped. Well, okay, keep it that way. Come on, Ned. Things will get better from now on. No, nothing will ever change for you. Until you start to change. Who would know it? Who would bother to look that close? We would. You may not have recognized the fact, Ned, but Dr. Locke and I are two very prominent citizens in this area. So who cares about you guys? <laughs>